Hi everyone, welcome to episode 3 of Nights Live, I'm Cameron Nizer, and you can see where we are right now, the pool deck, however, this is not like our past two videos, where they were focused on singular sports, no, this is on a singular date, September 18th, 2018, a Tuesday, where your Knights had three different home games at approximately the same times. Now the first game was the boys varsity water polo team as they took on Vista at 345, then I'll take you out to the tennis courts as the girls team had an important league match at 3.30 against La Jolla Country Day. And lastly, I'll take you back out to the field as the girls varsity field hockey team at 3.30 took on Mission Bay. So I'll take you down the stairs and we'll get it started. Entering this game with an impressive 6-1 and one record on the season, the Knights look to defeat the 2-2 two and two Vista Panthers and pick up their third win at home. And as warm-ups got underway, both teams conditioned in the pool and captains Merle Richmond, Max Carrillo, and Ford Eldridge led the Knights into battle. Unfortunately for the Knights, they struggled to put the ball in the back of the net early as they trailed in the first period 3-1. However, a plethora of goals and one here by senior Daniel Argemond and junior Perry Mikic put them back in the lead. And after that, they had no problem getting the ball past the Vista goalkeeper as Perry netted his second of the game, tying it up at six in the second. And with his teammates watching, Perry notched his third of four goals as the crowd cheered him on. And Philip Richmond added another as the Knights began to run away from the Panthers. And it was senior and goalie Nathan Wu who impacted the game with his seven saves and led the Knights to victory. I asked Philip about the importance of this win. The most important part of winning that Vista game was playing around a strategy that the coaches put together and then just going through with it. And with that win, the Knights moved to 7-1 and one on the season and dropped the Panthers to 2-3. and three. Now we head over to the tennis courts where the girls varsity team had their first league match against rivals La Jolla Country Day, trying to push the record to 4-0 on the season as they took their home courts. After warm-ups came to a close, lineups were organized and the Knights' quest to stay undefeated rolled on. Senior Emily Chen and junior Elizabeth Stewart Shafu were placed at doubles line one and impressed with two wins, 6-2 and 6-3. However, at doubles line two, junior Margot Lyons and sophomore Brooke Waite were unable to defeat any of their opponents. As doubles line three, senior Sydney Gray and Nikki Karamati won two of their matches, 6-4 and 6-3. However, the story was the success of both freshman Claire Zhao and sophomore Olivia Weiss. Claire dominated all three of her matches, winning the first two 6-0 and the last one 6-2. And Olivia won her first match 6-4 and her last two by the score of 6-2. I asked coach Matt Copeland about the importance of this win. Uh, we were 3-0 going into that win and, and basically playing a rival and uh, getting the first win is always the, the most important challenging component and uh, our team was able to pull that off. With that victory, the Knights moved to 4-0 on the season and 1-0 in league play. As the Knights sport an undefeated record, they share that crown with the only other undefeated team on campus, the girls field hockey team, who sat at 4-0 entering their game against the Mission Bay Buccaneers. And in this game, the Knights dominated early as a goal from sophomore Avery Zolfagari pushed the Knights' lead to 6 within the first 13 minutes. And senior Sarah Michelle would score a goal from just inside the circle, giving the Knights an 8-0 cushion at the half. With this lead, pressure mounted as the Bucks were unable to stop the Knights' attack as they took this game 11-0. And with that win, the Knights have outscored their past three opponents by the score 26-0. I asked Captain Sarah Michelle about their dominance. I think we've been able to do pretty well over the past couple games um, because what we've worked on in practice, like giving goes and corners and tipping into goals, have really been translated into several wins. Another successful day at the Bishop Schools, all three teams prevailed. Now we started up on the pool deck. We ended here on the field for the Bishop School and for Knights Live. I'm your host, Cameron there.